What are the rules for naming a compound? This area of study is known as nomenclature, name calling. Now I get called a lot of names, but that's another story. What are the rules? Well, there's good news and bad news about that. The bad news is there's a whole lot of rules and they're really nuanced. But the good news is they're relatively easy to understand. And if you work with them and don't get them confused, you'll do really well. Now, what I've attempted to do is to take all of these rules and put them in an organizational tool of sorts in what I'm calling a nomenclature grid. And it's just a way for you to be able to spot the rule where it is and then you know which chemicals it should be applied to. Let me tell you what the problem is. Let's say you have a type 1 compound, but you use the type 3 rule. <laughs> that will be wrong. It may not even sound wrong the way you name it, but it is going to be wrong. Or you have a type 3 compound and you use the type 2 rule. Again, it may not sound wrong, but it's going to be wrong. So the basic idea of the nomenclature grid is this. Certain types of compounds, for example, binary non-acids, they follow a specific set of rules. And those rules are very different from, say, polyatomic acids. And so the purpose of the grids is to show you the close relationship between the type of compound and the rules. So if you can identify the type of compound, you know which rules to look for. Focusing on the overall grid for a few minutes, the foundational rules, however, are defined by quadrant one. So those are very important. And we're going to focus probably about half of our time just studying quadrant one, and then the other three quadrants fall pretty quickly after that. Now, if quadrant one is the foundational area, then what's called a type one compound is the epicenter of that. Once you could do a type one compound, a lot of the other compounds can be thought of as a derivative of the type one name. Now you can see that quadrant one is broken down into type one, type two, and type three compounds. Let me give the disclaimer that that is not normal nomenclature rules. Type one, type two, type three is a page I stole from Zoomdoll from the recommended text. And that's the first place that I saw that the quadrant one binary non-acids are broken down into subcategories. And I think it's a very, very clever invention. And it's what makes this nomenclature grid work, the organization of it. So where we want to go next is to learn what is a type one compound and what's the rules for naming it.